beautifully because what I do is so visual. Um, there are, when patients come to see me, I can often make a diagnosis as I'm watching them walk into the exam room or if they're already in the exam room and I come in and sit, I can make a diagnosis based on masked faces, based on if they have a rest tremor, based on if they have very little spontaneous movement while sitting in the chair. Um, so it's so visual. Yes, there are some things that I have to do where I need to lay my hands on patients, where I kind of check cogwheeling rigidity or I do a pull test. But these are just part of an exam that I can also get the same information from by tweaking the way I examine someone. So that cogwheeling rigidity that we feel isn't gonna make or break a diagnosis when I'm trying to figure out um, a, a Parkinson's patients or make or break my strategy for adjustments to medication just because of the amount of rigidity I feel. It's part of a larger constellation of symptoms. 